Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Craig at Hiking Pipes, and I guess I got a big show and tell uh, video uh, to go through today. Um, so, this past weekend, uh, I was down in Asheville, North Carolina, attending a uh, niece's wedding. Uh, squeezed in a round of golf and uh, nine holes. Uh, haven't played in. Uh, Oh my goodness, probably seven, eight years. And I consider it, I had a successful round of uh, nine holes. I shot at 52 and only lost one golf ball, and I did manage to get a par. So, but uh, it was a really great weekend. The weather was beautiful in Nashville. Uh, took some time to uh, see the area, uh, beautiful mountains. Uh, yeah, just a really, really nice area, and the wedding came off really, really well. So while I was down in Asheville, um, I was able to visit a local uh, tobacconist, and I picked up a couple of blends that I have yet to try, and uh, I'll be doing perhaps some individual videos regarding um, these tobaccos. So I picked up uh, McBaron's uh, Navy Flake. This is a, a Burva. <laughs> it's predominantly burly with Virginia, some Cavendish in it. Um, looking very forward to uh, trying this. There. I also picked up some uh, Sutliff uh, Crumble Cake Vapor. Uh, I really do like vapors, so um, going to be looking forward to trying this out. Uh, I'll make a, a little video on this, I guess. And uh, also while I was gone... Um, I got a uh, package from Uncle Willie Roop. Uh, he had a go his uh, 100 subscriber goal, and uh, I kind of got a consolation prize from him. So uh, very happy about that, uh, along with uh, a very nice bro note, um, which again, thank you, Willie, very, very much. Um, I got Fowen Pipe Cleaners. Can't have too many pipe cleaners. Actually, I haven't uh, haven't tried these ones. Uh, I'll be curious. These look pretty uh, pretty good, like pretty good pipe cleaners. So thank you for that. That up there, and another tobacco that I haven't tried, which is G and H American Dream, and I am going to pop this. So uh, let's get into it. And we'll see what this is all about. There's also another little uh, package I got while I was away. So, hmm. Trying to get this thing to pop open. Let's see if I could do the old Beans 316 method here. And I did. Okay. So... I think this is a uh, newer tin art on here. I've uh, I've seen uh, this with uh, some older tin art. So the date on this is six twenty one, and what it says on the back here it's a blend of mature sweet Virginias, Burleys, and Cavendish tobaccos, finished with a note of vanilla, caramel, and fresh fruits. So. I haven't read any reviews on this, so I'm going in blind, and because uh, I like to see what I feel rather than being influenced by others. There is a really nice, um, this is cardboard. I've never seen this inside the uh, tin before, but uh, this is cardboard. Kind of cool. And, okay, it's... Uh, Looks like to be a loose ribbon cut that's packed very, very tightly. So let me get this opened up without uh, spilling a bunch. We'll uh, give you a peek at this. So yeah, this is uh, this is packed pretty tightly, and we have some. Uh, I can see the black Cavendish, and uh, let's see if we can get this over to the. Yeah, you know, not very good in focus. I apologize, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a loose cut. Hmm. 
this is a this is an aromatic. That's obvious. I am getting the dried fruits. And I am getting some of that caramel. And it's all kind of mixed together. It actually smells quite good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a pipe. This is my Nording uh, double silver pipe. And uh, I'll load this up and we'll uh, get into it. So just uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the uh, pipe loaded up. The tobacco is a little bit to the moist side. Um, I'm not going to let this dry out, although uh, just because I'm doing this for the video, uh, I think I would let this dry for at least 15, 20 minutes and see how that goes. But uh, anyway, I'm just going right into it. So let's see what we, uh, what we get. So, I don't have many Lakeland tobaccos. In fact, I don't think I have any Lakeland tobaccos. Uh, I've heard about the, uh, the Lakeland essence that uh, is contained in Lakeland tobaccos. Um, I think I'm getting, if I understand what I'm getting, I think I'm understanding what that is. There is some sort of essence going on here. So... I'm getting that Lakeland essence. Um, it's going into the back of my uh, back of my mouth. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of that vanilla. I think I'm getting some vanilla in there. Yeah, it's it's getting that vanilla with the um, with that Lakeland essence in it. So I'm going to take another pause and I'm going to smoke this down a little bit, and I'm going to continue to play some show and tell with you guys because I got a couple of other things to show you. So uh, hang in there, and uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, in a few. All right, so I've been smoking for, I guess, about 15 minutes or so, um, probably a third of the way, more, a little more than a third of the way down. It's burning very clean. I'm getting uh, no, uh, no sizzling like you do with some aromatics. Um, I, li I think I like this one. The flavoring that I'm now getting, that essence dissipated from the initial, uh, you know, top of the bowl. And what it seems to kind of settled into, at least to me, whatever this is worth, is kind of a, a light toasted marshmallow taste, if you will. It's not strong. It's not like, oh my God, sickly sweet marshmallow. But it's like if you take a marshmallow and you, you know, singe it ever so slightly, so it turns like a, a golden brown over a campfire and you have it that way, that's the kind of taste I, I believe I'm getting. It's very pleasant. It's mild. It's very, very mild. I'm not getting any tongue bite from it. And I've been uh, puffing on it 
intermittently, you know, slow and then hard. I'm trying to see if how it reacts. Um, so, but I'm getting no tongue bite. And this is a non-filtered uh, non pipe. It's a relatively short pipe too that comes in about five inches long. Yeah, very, very nice and very mellow. Um, yeah, I've been kind of drifting away. I started like many pipe smokers. I started off almost exclusively aromatics, uh, but I've kind of gotten away from them a little bit. Um, as I've been finishing them off, I haven't been replenishing. I still have a couple of aromatics that I enjoy from time to time, especially if I know I'm going to be in the presence of others. Uh, want to, you know, don't want to scare them away, but. Um, this one I can see enjoying um, regularly. It's uh, it, it the tobacco is obviously of good quality. I like the fact that again I'm not getting the goopiness. I'm not getting um, kind of a uh, a sickly sweetness to it. Yeah, it's just a very mild, uh, very mild smoke and seems to be enjoyable. Um, like everything else, I'll smoke a few bowls and, you know, render a final verdict. But at least for a first impression, I'm okay with this. You know, those who really aren't into the aromatic world probably, uh, you know, this one really isn't for you. Um, but like I said, uh, I don't mind that so much. So I'm just going to put this down, like I said, uh, before I cut away. I have a couple other little show-and-tell items. The other one is another tobacco. Uh, nothing really new with the McBaron Scottish mixture, except for the fact that on my last tin, I made a video, and I set up a half-baked uh, pressing rig, and I kept it under press. I believe it was for 10 days. If I'm mistaken about that, uh, you know, I'm sorry. But this was, I kind of set up the same thing and I pressed it for 40 days. So um, I'll do a, another, God, so much tobacco, so little time, right? Um, this is, it's compressed almost into a rock. This is really absolutely almost rock hard. I had this uh, in that pressing rig uh, with a clamp in a uh, mortar and pestle and uh, I kept tightening it down, you know, readjusting it and so forth. But uh, yeah, it's now kind of in a, a puck and uh, I'll be doing that. So that'll be uh, forthcoming. I'm, I'm curious to see how uh, a 40 day press uh, behaves. And the last item is a box. And uh, I know what's in here. Um, it's funny because I've been tracking this and uh, the USPS um, kind of lost sight of when this was going to be delivered. In fact, this morning it was held up in one location for over a week and I actually set up a uh, customer uh, request form as to what's going on with this. It, status hasn't changed in literally seven days. And hence, it shows up today. So, I'm going to do a quick box opening. And we'll get into this one. Uh, my knife is getting a little dull. But, let's see. All right box with the paper and a card here and a card here. Okay, so put this off to the side, bubble wrap, some more bubble wrap, and even more bubble wrap. Whoops, excuse me. Try to get this guy opened up. Ah, man, I'm fumbling and bumbling today. So, yes, we have a pipe. And it's in this nondescript 
black nylon sock. And the only clue I'm going to give before unveiling, which is going to happen in a few seconds anyway, this is the second pipe I've gotten from this pipe maker. So, ooh, I like that stem already. You can see it a, has a green-black stem. And here's our pipe. This is a Jack Ryan pipe. This is number 28. It has a green German ebonite stem on it. Button looks really good and straight. The first one I had gotten from Jack, uh, the, the slot was at a slight angle, didn't affect the smoke. I love the pipe, I smoke it regularly. But uh, this one is, uh, this one's straight on. Right there has beautiful grain up top, has some beautiful grain underneath, and this is all hand rusticated. Jack uses his, a hand tool to do his rustication, and uh, this is a very nice uh, rustication. The other pipe I got from him is a uh, smooth pipe. Um, with it, the bro note, Happy smokes, mate. All the best and many thanks, Jack. So, and for you folks that don't know, Jack is located in Scotland. So this came across the pond. And when I was talking about where it was held up, it was held up at Kennedy Airport uh, for seven days. The status still says it's at uh, passing through Kennedy Airport. Hence, it's here. So this is a uh, kind of, he called it a bent apple. Um, it has, it looks like, to be really honest, it's kind of a hybrid of a couple of things. It looks like a, a little pottish, although tall. Um, the, there is a taper, ever so slight taper that goes in. And the base is a little wider. So yeah, I guess it's kind of a, a bent potty apple, apple potty. Hmm. <laughs> So feels really nice in the hand. Specification sheet, Jack has uh, been putting the, put, puts this together, which I think is great. Uh, he has it as the weight is 66 grams, so it's a little hefty, which I like. The length on it is 5.5 inches with a chamber diameter of 20 millimeters. It is a non-filtered pipe. Uh, it is briar with its origins in Italy and it was made in Scotland on April the 1st of 22. And little signature. So I think it's really cool that Jack incorporates the specification sheet with his, uh, with his pipes. So uh, yeah, this looks like it's, you know, Jack's pipes from what I'm seeing, and oh, by the way, it's a non-finished bowl inside. So the break-in will be uh, gentle. But uh, you can see that the wall thickness is pretty darn thick. And just let me grab this if I can. Got my little pipe rack behind me here. So this is, uh, this is number uh, 24 that Jack made that I made an ever so slight modification on with the, uh, with the stem and put a, a, a bent, uh, put a little bend into it. Again, good thick wall. This thing smokes absolutely wonderful. I, I really like this. And you can see, you know, these pipes that Jack has made, at least these two that I have, I, I kind of look at these as almost being like workhorse type pipes. These are robust. Um, they feel really good. It's, I'm anticipating, excuse me, I'm anticipating uh, a cool smoke based upon the, the thickness of the walls. But uh, these just look like, you know, great workhorse pipes. And uh, I, like I said, I enjoy this one. I've been smoking this one quite a lot. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to this one. So thank you, Jack. Thank you, Willie. And uh, I apologize for the length of this video. It's 20 minutes long. So I'm going to cut it out now saying to everybody, be well, be safe. Be good to one another, and we'll talk to you real soon. Take care for now, and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye for now.